What's up, everybody? Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a great holiday season, a uh, good Christmas, good New Year, um, and a good start to the new year. So that being said, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or entertaining, one of the three. Um, if not, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, such is life. And if you are returning and a subscriber, or even if you're not a subscriber, thanks for uh, coming on back and checking out my stuff. Um, that being said, let's just jump right into it real quick today. Uh, I got a quick video. Uh, been going over the things I like about Void Linux since I did my switch from Arch. Um, so I just wanted to touch real quick on another one of the things I like about Void. Um, and it's not particular to Void. There are other or other distros out there that use it, but the init system. Uh, being on Arch, if I open up a terminal here and we zoom in real quick, clear the screen. When you're on Arch and you want to start a uh, system or on a system D system, um, you have to use the command system CTL. So, it being said, as you can see highlighted there, I have system CTL enable dash dash now SSHD. Well, that's how you would enable something immediately and start it up right away. But as, uh, system CTL is how you would start services. As long as you had a dot services file in the correct location, um, you could start you know your Pulse Audio or your network manager or whatever else by using uh, system CTL. Um, or sudo, sudo system CCL, depending on whether you wanted it system wide or uh, user. Um, that being said, I struggled with that um, for a long time on system D. Uh, just getting things up and going, it always seemed to act funky and there was always errors and stuff that just plagued me on it. And eventually I got uh, decent at using system D, and so this video is by no means in any way knocking system D. System D works, it, uh, it's the most commonly used in its system. Uh, on Linux, so you know they're they're doing something right. You know, a lot of people complain about the fact that it's so bloated and that it's um, just a mess and it doesn't follow the Unix philosophy of do one thing and do it well. But um, I have no no beef with uh, System D. Uh, that that's not what this video is about. But I will say, after using Run It, the init system on Void here, I just I don't know that I would ever want to go back to System D. So that being said, like I said, if you use a systemd service or a systemd uh, distro, then using and starting services can be a little bit cumbersome. Um, I ran into problems um, all the time with getting things started up correctly, whether it was just for a user or whatever. So that being said, do not have the same issue with Runit. So I'm going to show you how Runit works. So let's jump to a different workspace here. We're going to zoom in here. We're going to CD into ETC. And we're going to clear the screen and we're going to zoom in real quick. And then we're going to do an LS. So this is an LS of my slash ETC directory. And if we look right where yet, uh, right here, right there is a directory called SV. So if we CD into SV and we clear the screen and then we go ahead and LS, this is a list of what's in my slash etc slash service directory now what that is is basically like on uh, systemd when you install something it's going to give you a dot you're going to get a, a dot service file to actually start the service what run it does is run it drops these files or these directories here into your etc slash service you can see i've got network manager right here i've got my policy kit right here i've got pulse audio uh, sshd um, i've got alsa Dbus, all this stuff gets dropped here when you do an install. So say you did a sudo xpps dash install dash s and did, uh, let's see. So you ran this command, sudo xpps install network manager. You hit enter, go through, it installs everything. Well, when you do that, <clears throat> it drops this directory right here in your etc slash service and then to get that service started up what you need to do is we're gonna cd into slash var and we're gonna clear the screen and do an ls and in your slash var directory you're gonna have another directory called service so if we cd into service and hit enter so now we are in our slash var slash service and we do an ls these are all the services that are actually up and running. So, you can see right here, we've got Network Manager. How do we get 
our service from the etc slash sv into the slash var slash service nice and easy all you have to do if we are in our home directory so let's go back to home and we're gonna pwd and you see we're in home slash jake if you're in your home directory and you want and you've installed like network manager or also or whatever all you have to do is you do a sudo ln dash s and then you put the path to the slash etc so you do slash etc slash sv slash and say we wanted to run network manager <laughs> newt <laughs> oh jake slash network manager and you hit tab and then we do a space and you do var slash service <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> so from your home directory you put sudo ln dash s and then the path in the etsy file or etsy directory for the service you want to start and then you link that to the var slash service and you hit enter now what that's going to do is going to create a link right here in that var slash service so once that's in there then it should automatically fire off and run if you want to check that you can do a sudo sv status and then network manager hit the end and do your password and then you can show that it's running now if it's not running then it's going to come up down and to actually get it up and going all you're going to do is you're going to run sudo sv up and then network manager so here let me show you we'll do sudo sv down network manager now we'll do a sudo sv status network manager you can see it shows network manager is down it's been down four seconds so normally up so if we do then sudo sv up network manager and then we do sudo sv status network manager now it shows running so it's just that simple um, and that's how it works with everything also it's going to be the same way you're going to do from your home directory you're going to do sudo ln dash s etc sv also to var dash service check and make sure it's running um, if you want to fire up mpd you're going to do the same thing and then do that to var slash service so I mean it's it's just super super simple and it blows my mind how easy it is I have not come across a single quote unquote issue I had one little hiccup when I was firing up when I tried to get pulse audio running along with also when I fired them both up I had some weird stuff going on um, the problem was solved just by killing pulse audio and running also so that's what I run right now is also um, but that being said uh, no issues and the fact that I can pick and choose on run it basically everything I want to start up and nothing more and I it controls what I want to, to control and nothing more um, it's just amazing run it is just an amazing program so that being said I hope that you find this helpful if you're planning on switching to void or you're interested in checking it out I mean this is nice and easy this is how you get your services up and running um, so I hope this helps you and I definitely recommend you you take a look at it and take a serious look at it um, I got a few more videos coming up on it this was gonna be a quote-unquote long-term distro review this has turned into more of a hey exploring <laughs> exploring void Linux um, so that being said I got a few more things coming up I got some other videos in the works too so just hey stay tuned I appreciate you guys checking out my channel and taking the time out of your day to watch and I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your week God bless